Yeah, got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. George Clooney. Another woke fool. Check him out. I didn't think people would vote for someone who was so deeply flawed, you know. I mean, I know Donald Trump, you know. I mean, that's the thing is people, you know, I have his phone number in my phone book. He was he was the guy that came to the bars and, and asked me about which, which cocktail waitress was single. You know, that's who he was. This is back in the 90s. It's not that long, no, back in the 2000s, quite honestly. And, uh, and so there, there's what? this part of you that just goes, well, that guy shouldn't be. But I was wrong, and he was, and uh, and our uh, democracy, uh, I believe, paid a price, certainly around the world. How worried are you about our democracy? I'm worried about it. I'm worried about uh, the coarsening of America. I'm worried about how uh, we celebrate unkindness now. I, you know, I worry about things. I'll tell you, I, I look at, so we're sending... You know, the, the, new, the new joke, the new cruelty is let's send migrants. New cruelty. People who are seeking asylum, remember, legally. Let's send them without any warning, you know, because it's, it's fun to own the liberals. We'll send them to, you know, to Martha's Vineyard. That'll teach, you know, where Obama's people. And we'll send them to, to the vice president's house with no warning, no help. So I look at where we are in this sort of coarsening of, of our of our discourse, and I find it to be worrying. You say that your dad had one rule for you, which was take on the people who are more powerful than you and comfort, support, defend, defend the people yeah. who are less powerful than yeah. you. Is that where your sense of outrage comes from? Sure. I mean, growing up in a certain period of time, uh, uh, and this the is 60s dragon. and 70s particularly, <laughs> You know, there was the women's rights movement, there was civil rights movement. There was, you know, there was so many things going on, the anti-Vietnam movement. There were so many things going on that you had to be involved. My parents were deeply involved. And, uh, and so was, as I was growing up, I was taught, you know, if you're not in it, then you, you're, you're not participating. How do you feel about the likely prospect of a Biden-Trump rematch in 2024? Well, look, uh, it's all scary right? just because there is a uh, uh, there is a world where we could go back to where we were. I don't think it's as likely as people think, but I was wrong about the first election. You're going to be wrong again, too. <laughs> of course, me. If I discourse, he's, he's, uh, people, a lot of people don't even understand that what that term means, democracy. Democracy is the belief that everyone has a right to express their opinions. And the vote for representatives. That's a democracy. Democracy is working fine. There's no, no threat. Uh, there's no threat against Well, that. it's not working fine. They're trying to uh, take that yeah. political rival and throw him in jail. Yeah. But they're not willing to call it out. They think threat, uh, Trump is a threat against democracy because he used to ask <laughs> which waitress was single. Yeah, okay. First of all, he's a billionaire. He's in there looking for single waitresses. I mean, he's got billions of dollars. If I was him, I would just order them to my house. <laughs> I'm sure he's smarter than me. <laughs> but, so you was having a conversation with Trump. He can't make George. <laughs> Which one's single? <laughs> Sound like he's joking. Yeah. Now, if Peter came up to you and said, hey, which one you going home tonight with? <laughs> I'd be like, oh, okay. This sounds like a, well, I said the same shit. Just being a dude. Just a dude being a dude, man. And as far as uh, immigrants coming to this country, we all for, I mean, this, this country is built by immigrants. He says cruel to send uh, illegal immigrants to uh, sanctuary uh, cities. I it's, mean, they voted for it. Y'all love them. <laughs> Take them. <laughs> <laughs> the red states don't want them. Yeah, why is it so cruel when we have to take them? But it's not cruel when we have to take them, yeah. but it's cruel when y'all have to take them. I mean, that's what y'all voted for. Y'all like sanctuary cities. Y'all voted in a law in that area by your politicians, your locality, and you saying we want to disregard federal immigration laws. We'd rather take these people yeah. that's coming to our country illegally. Hey, stop calling these people uh, legal immigrants and they're seeking asylum. 99 over, majority of these people don't even seek the prerequisites to be, to seek asylum in our country. Yeah, they have to be fleeing persecution. They're here for a handout and for a job. Yeah. That doesn't meet the requirements. See, what's wrong with you Democrats, you people are intentionally stupid 
or you just misrepresent what's going on and you know what's going on. It's totally misrepresentation because you don't know the facts. These people in our country for a handout, they're not really here. And, and a majority of these people will never be Americans. They can't. They have, we have no legal obligation to make them legal because they are breaking our immigration laws. And more than not, more often than not, these people, when they, when our immigration day comes up, which is, I think, three to five years later, yes, these yeah. people are not even going to show yeah. up. We're so behind. We don't have enough judges. <laughs> these people are waiting three, four years to go yeah. see a judge. And when his time comes up, they're like, ah, fuck it, I ain't going. It's been four years. Yeah. I mean, your whole take on our politics. Yeah, there's been a discoursing, but that, I mean. Of course it yeah, coarsening of our politics and how I like we like that speak. word, coarsening. Coarsening. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. sound smart? Just use the word coarsening. <laughs> yeah, coarsening. But that's on both sides. Yeah. That's on both sides. But yes. if you were willing to call it out on the right, why aren't you willing to call it out on the left? They call us white supremacists. Yeah, what is the... Uh, they call us things Okay, that, what are we doing on the right that's coarsening? Well, Trump, you know, he does stupid shit. Like when he, Rihanna had that um that uh, super. Oh, you said it was special? like the worst performance ever. Yeah, stupid shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but Trump, you know, she be she be criticizing yeah, and disparaging yeah. Trump, so he comes out and says, you know what, that Super Bowl show was awful. It sucked. It was the worst in history. <laughs> Which it wasn't. It's probably the best performance I've ever seen a pregnant woman perform. The yeah. shit she did during that halftime special was crazy. Halftime special. <laughs> Yeah, halftime. Halftime show. Well, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Halftime special. Yeah, but halftime I mean, show. okay, most of the coarsening <laughs> is on the left. I mean, do we do it on the right? Yeah, from time to time. Yeah. But everybody does. It. Everybody does a little coarsening. It's just modern act, It's modern activity on both sides of the yeah, It's, just, it's politics. It's politics. So you, you talk love, shit, I'm going to talk shit. Yeah. It's just playing the game of politics. And I'm still waiting for y'all to say, how is Trump is the threat against democracy? Paying hush money to a prostitute he had a, a damn affair with? That's a threat to democracy? That's nobody's or, business. Or, or, or is it a threat against democracy when you, when a government starts to overreach and turn petty, trivial things into crimes to into, persecute people to defeat them cr- Try to defeat them before they even reach the polls. Yeah, thirty-four felony counts. Trump going to get, man. How many how many counts did Epstein have? Do we have access to Epstein's list? Are you on the list? I think he was. I seen the video. I don't know how true it is. Was George yeah. Clooney on the list? Shit, everybody's on that list. Trump went on it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he went through Cohen. <laughs> he had his attorney had to set up. Hey, uh, hey uh, set it up. Uh, uh, we we'll take care of it. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Yeah, I'm uh, just joking. <laughs> I wasn't being serious. I was being facetious. Yeah, they keep saying. It was a joke. Cohen was his fix-it guy. Well, that's what the attorney's supposed to be. He's supposed to be the fix-it guy. Yeah, he's supposed to fix shit. Supposed to fix your sentence? <laughs> Take time away? You're supposed to fix things. Yeah, you're supposed to cover stuff up? <laughs> I mean, well, what else do you need an attorney for? Yeah. Yeah, he, he's the Mr. Fixer guy. Yeah, y'all, you guys are the threat to democracy. You're trying yeah. to throw your political rival yeah. who's leading in all the polls in yeah. jail. Yeah. Y'all don't believe in freedom of speech. You only believe in freedom of speech when it comes to your point of view. You like to take everything about Republicans, twist them. Mislead people, misrepresent, gaslight everyone. That whole interview was just gaslight. Yeah, you get an interview by Never Trumper. What's yeah. his name? I don't know. Call him first name Never, last name Trumper. Yeah, Never oh, Trumper. Oh, Howard Cosell wanna be. Trying to be all like Howard Cosell. You ain't no Howard Cosell. You a woke Howard Cosell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got that Howard Cosell kind of look and feel, but you ain't got that swag Cosell had. If Howard Cosell was. Which really it feels a lot today. He would have called that woke stuff out. <laughs> you know what, George? You're woke. <laughs> You're woke. You're spinning things. Won't you, won't, won't, you, won't you dig deep and find an ounce of integrity in that, 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 that woke liberal body of yours? It's just stupid, man. Yeah, Trump liberal. is a horrible person. And Biden's not. Trump's not a horrible person. I'm, I'm just saying. If you're saying Trump is a horrible person... By definition, Biden's a horrible person. You're trying to say anybody that's not perfect like you is a horrible person. 
Yeah, you ain't perfect. I know you got skeletons in your clothes. I heard about you. Yeah, I what know all. Of, I know all about you. What year? Show's over. Whoop fool. <laughs>